Hey guys, this is another video for our anime and manga playlist. Those of you who are familiar with Miyazaki's famous animation called Totoro may remember this house that the main characters from that animation lived in. So in Aichiken, Japan, there's the site of the World Expo, 2005 World Expo, and for that expo they actually built this house that is an exact copy of the house that was in the animation. So for anime fans, in particular Totoro fans, this place is like sort of a mecca. <laughs> so people come from all over Japan and other places around the world too to visit this house. So it's pretty good. Those of you who are familiar with the Totoro movie and maybe have watched it a couple of times will recognise all sorts of things. Early in the movie, the girls dance around that post there and it rotted post and bits of it drop off. And this room here that the father worked in, did his work in. His getta there at the door, his wooden clogs getta. So it's pretty cool. They've got a few rules, as you'd expect. There's a few <laughs> rules. Being Japan, there's a few rules. One is that you're not allowed to actually film inside the house or take photos inside the house, but you are allowed to take photos and video outside the house looking in. So, <laughs> for whatever reason. But anyway, that's just the rule. So you recognise that veranda there. And you'll recognise this well. Remember the bucket with the hole in it that May looks through and sees the tonduri at the other side? There's the bucket with the hole in it. So they've gone to a lot of trouble to really put all the details in. They've done a good job. And the bike. You'll remember the scene with the bike. Dad rides the bike with the girls, one at the front, one at the back. There's May's getta. And then you might remember a scene under the house that there was a little mini Totoro that went running around underneath the house there. That's that scene there. You recognise those stones there, guys, too, from the previous video as well. We showed, the, showed you about those doormat stones. There's the kitchen. Isn't that a nice job? It looks just like it, doesn't it? It's fully functioning too. Those water pumps actually do pump water and you're allowed to use them. The deal with the house is that you're allowed to open drawers, you're allowed to take things out and look at them, you're allowed to pump the water pump, you're allowed to everything. Everything's fully functional. That's the fire there underneath the bath. So put wood in that fire there and, and heats up the bath. Couldn't get close enough to the bath. Of course, when you walk through the house, you, you can get right up to the bath, put your hand in it, but... You know, I'd do that with the camera, so sorry I couldn't show you the bath, but anyway. There's the main tatami room with the veranda there on the left. Remember the girls running around that room? People who aren't Totoro fans have probably stopped watching, except that this is a classic old Japanese house. It's sort of a classic 150, 200 year old house, style of house, with the Meiji period edition at the front, or maybe a 1910, 1920 edition at the front there, which is quite a common scene around Japan, the old houses with the, the more modern edition added onto them, which is basically what this represents. So if you're not a Totoro or an animation fan, that house is a classic Japanese house. Anyway, hopefully somebody found that interesting. More videos coming soon.